Ciao a tutti and welcome back to my kitchen for Nonna Gina's food adventures. Now today we are going to make some hummus. Now this is my version of hummus. Uh, I know there's plenty of traditions out there but this is how I like to make mine. What we're using today is chickpeas, we have tahini, we have extra chickpeas for garnish. We also have some water just to loosen up the mixture if it gets too thick. Sea salt, paprika for uh, garnish at the end. Nice big flat clove of garlic and some lemon juice. And that's all that goes into hummus. So what I have here is chickpeas, which I've cooked last night. So what I did was I soaked them overnight until they're about two inches over the top of the actual dried chickpeas uh, with a teaspoon of baking soda. And once they have actually soaked overnight, this morning what I did was I just popped them into a pot of boiling water and brought them up to the boil and just cooked them till they were soft. So that's the consistency you're after is when you squish it, it just breaks down in your fingers. So I just boil that probably about 40 minutes. So let's get started. I'm just gonna prep some small things first. I'm going to get my garlic clove. Anyone that knows me, they know I love gadgets. Uh, I have everything you can imagine. Now have a look at this. This is my little lemon juice extractor. Not one of those ones you turn like you used to years ago. So basically you just put half a lemon upside down into there and it's got holes in it. So you, it catches all the pips if it needs be. So you just press it. And voila, you have lemon juice. Now chickpeas don't have a much flavor to them. They're very healthy and very good for you, but they don't have it. So they need quite a bit of seasoning. So I'm just gonna put a really good pinch of sea salt in there. and some for luck. And we'll give this a whiz and we'll see how it goes. We'll taste it as we go. Sorry about the noise. And we're just gonna have a look. And as you can see, I've got a bit of water here just to loosen it up. So just add maybe a tablespoon to two tablespoons at a time to see how much you actually need. At this point, you can see that it's nice and creamy and smooth, but we're going to taste it for seasoning, whether it needs a little bit more acidity. So I've got another lemon just in case. And let's have a taste. Mm. Could do with more lemon juice though. Enough salt. And we'll give this a quick whiz. All right, let me give it one more taste. Mmm. That is so good. I can't tell you how good it is. It's just amazing. Oh, yum. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make it look pretty. So if we just make a little swirl in there just like that. It's not necessary, but it just looks good. And the extra chickpeas that we had, 
just for decoration and a really nice sprinkling of sweet paprika. Right, we're ready to plate. Now I have some, put that to one side, and I have some absolutely gorgeous Labash sesame seed crackers. We made these a few weeks ago. So they will go absolutely beautiful with this dish. That looks so beautiful and it's delicious. So everybody, this is my version of hummus. It's absolutely delicious. It's great when you have friends, family come over, just as a, a side dish, or you can, you can have it as a side dish with some meat or chicken, or you can have it with beef. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, I've got it here just as a dip with some of the sesame seed crackers that we made on a previous show that these ones are new ones because those ones just all polished off. <laughs> um, but yeah, they are really, really nice to go with it. The sesame seed flavor really comes out in both the chickpeas and also the crackers. Thank you for watching Nonna Gina's Food Adventures. If you like my video, don't forget to give me a like and any comments you have, please put them in the comments below. I love hearing from all you guys. And don't forget to subscribe, because if you subscribe, you'll be the first to be notified with this and many, many other recipes that are to come. Thank you. Ciao tutti.